Mark has probably talked a little bit about the back stroke and the back strokers that I swam with at Texas. Um, in the time I was there, I got to, uh, in training, I got to swim with Neil Walker, uh, who's an amazing back stroker, and Aaron Pearsall, of course, and learned a lot of things from Pearsall. One of the key things that made Aaron so good, well, there are a lot of things, but his kick is incredible. Put him on a board, without a board, anyway, he's going to be winning the kick set, even though I want to win the kick set. So, Aaron is an amazing flutter kicker and dolphin kicker, and I think a lot of that actually has to do with the, the amount of time he spent out body surfing in the ocean with fins on. I mean, he grew up in the Pacific, basically. Um, so, so the kick in backstroke, I think, cannot be like overstated the importance of having a great kick uh, in backstroke because. One of the things we were talking about earlier is having something to kick up against. And in backstroke, we've got nothing to kick up against. So you've got to take advantage of your down kick. Um, and uh, you've just also just got to be able to keep the legs pumping for, for a 200. Um, there were some other kind of cool drills. I mean, if you know Aaron, you know he's, uh, you know, he's, a, he's kind of a thinker. And he had some drills that he introduced us to at Texas that were really interesting and actually during, when I was speaking earlier in the, in the auditorium, I, I was talking about keeping things fun, but challenging at the same time. When I'm doing a clinic and I feel like I'm starting to lose the kids, I'll say, hey, you guys want to know the hardest drill that I know how to do? And so uh, I'll, I'll show it to you in a second. And I get a lot of questions about, like, from the coaches afterwards. They, they're like, you know, what does that actually help? Well, the kids are smiling and they're paying attention again. That's one. And it's also kind of like a mental tongue twister. Um, so what Aaron would do, and he's the only person I've ever really seen do this right. You take a stroke, as soon as your hand hits, the hand comes up over your body and touches the foot, your opposite foot over your body. So you gotta be quick. So basically, like your core body, if you do very much of this drill, will be screaming. And, and you'll understand why it's a, it's a hard drill, but it's also a fun drill. So let me show you what it should look like. Uh, again, I call this pure salt drill. And I screwed it up already.